Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14 Part 6, Liao Su's Conquest, where we are currently... Well, we're in a bit of a little bit of a bind. We've currently got Tao Pan and Li Jun venturing out to go take Xin Yi. But other than that, we're in a bit of a pickle. Now, how much did it take to placate? 800 gold in seven days. Okay, go for it. Do you know? I'm not gonna try both because it is early uh, early April, so we don't really have as much to spare. Now, I've got a single order because I think for the most part we did our turn. So let's just keep going. Yes. Okay, we could have actually done both and it would have saved us a little bit of time. No reports, that's fine. So we've currently got 12,000 men inside of our cities, which is good enough for now. That's a bandit. I thought that was the... What's it called? Now, uh, which city did you go under? You came under the capital, which is fine, because we have more than enough spare right now. for now. She's going to lose her position once we take over Xin Yi, so it's not really a problem. Got any suggestions that would be any good? That is completely worth it because that's a bunch of troops that... So basically, when you get a reinforced unit, it just spawns a bunch of troops into a unit for you. Typically, it's best used when you are uh, engaged in a heavy confrontation with the enemy. And are currently running out of troops. However, it's always worth taking. Now, the reason it's always worth taking is because it spawns a bunch of random troops for free. It is literally free troops. Like I, if it, it always works as well. Watch. So we get. We just got. Did one just go down? Oh damn. It's not free troops. I just never paid enough attention. I was wrong, guys. It's not free troops. I was, de I was definitely wrong. So, note yourself. Do not accept do that when you don't need to. It is late, the late of the month. So let's try and do some proposals which will make us uh, barracks and public order. Try and save some money because apparently I spent money that I didn't need to spend. Ooh. You are crap, but we'll send uh, two people to go get you. At this point, we just need everyone. There isn't really much we can do until we take Xin Yi. But as you can see, they're trying to stop us taking Xin Yi now. They've sent 4,500 men, which... I'm not going to do too great against our men. So I'm actually going to make sure I set you up to... Yep, you've got attack. So I'm actually going to send you to there and then to there. That way, it, he will put himself in a position so he can t deal with the enemy. You have quite a lot of assault, but not very much defense. So, yeah, fish is not the best uh, for... Uh, I, I don't really like the formation fish. I like arrow a lot better, especially for assault armies. But you guys didn't pick arrow, so unfortunately I have to go with what you guys uh, picked. Even if it does fuck me. So it's the beginning of the month. We've got 4,000 gold. That doesn't matter. That one does. It's Nandra gold, but it's gold that's going to go to a very, very good proposal of trying to shut up the enemy. Send you guys to there. And you're the only one who can do that, that's fine. Let's keep going. Let's see how our first conquest goes. So when you lower morale, it actually gets them closer to being destroyed. Susie wasn't there. 
Jehua, no longer there. Now, as you can see, towers absolutely fucking rinse cities. We have suppressed, didn't you? Now, the real problem is our army has now gone to the wrong side. Actually, no, our army just went straight inside. Why well, y'all should be gone? Powerful person is in you. So when you take a city, <clears throat> a couple of things can happen. A powerful person or an extremely powerful item can be a, can be accounted for. There you go, Talpan. Set out, destroy. Now we're also going to summon some troops, to some people to Zalyan. So if people are not overseers, you're going to get sent. So, uh, Zushen. But Lavi Hana is going to be taken from her family, and we're going to need, uh, we're going to need some, we're going to need some good people. So I'm actually going to take our uh, my husband, uh, my wife, um, Asano Kinkshi, and then you two. Zoba. So that should have automatically kicked them out of their jobs. Nope, they did not get kicked out of their jobs just yet. So we'll have to wait until they arrive, which won't take long. But the most important thing is we need to search with every single phys person physically possible to search there. The reason for that is because, well, a strong person should be there, which means we need that. And I'm going to spend that 800 gold. So Xinji's uh, Chiang Duan has determined to take up service of force and will surely make a great ally. He is a warrior character, and for now, we need some warrior characters, so that's not a problem. Let's end that turn. I want to see um, Tao Pan absolutely destroy uh, Zhuan Ye Fu, who is currently unable to attack, which means he's going to get decimated. Should have returned him to the settlement. Liao Su discovered Lu Su. It would benefit us greatly if you could welcome you if we could welcome you into our army. Would you consider lending us your support? I don't wish to become an officer at this time. Please take your leave. I have found Hexmark when I, while I was searching as you need. So this is some items. Now, that may look like a failure. However, do not be fooled. That was not a failure. Simply wasn't a perfect win. Because the person who tried to recruit him wasn't going to be able to recruit him. Tao Pan, straight into the city, please. Uh, so let's do the city government first. Tao Pan and... Li Jun are going to look after the city's morale and po uh, men. The rest is not as important. For now, I'm going to simply put them on... I'm going to put them on Conquer. Now, the reason we're putting them on Conquer is because Conquer is very important. Okay, there we go. We did lose someone here. Uh, Barracks here still. Now, Tao Pan was our city governor for troops. I'm now going to put Liao Su in control of that. And I'm then going to put uh, Fa Zeng in control of you. Now, do we have... Okay, the city government is still fine there until next turn. Okay, so that was really good. That was really lucky. Now, the problem is, I should actually have been searching Jin Yi. However, I had more important things to do. So we're going to send Bad Lavi Hana. And we're out of orders, so... Yeah, we successfully made a strike against Zong. Uh, Habat Lavi Hana discovers Borti. Would you ever consider joining our army? I'm sure Liao Su would be very happy. She doesn't plan on becoming an officer because Bad Lavi Hana is not good enough. Zhu Zhen. Would you please consider using your talents for Liao Su? Very well. I will do as you command. So when the when I go myself, he's like, now nah, mate, get the fuck out. When one of my retainers goes, he's like, yes, of course I will serve you. That's honestly the greatest decision you've ever had. Cao Cao and Yuan Xiao are no longer allied. Lu Bei and Kong Ron are no longer allied. Sun Tzu and Zong are no longer allied. Wang Lang and Yan Baihu. Okay. A lot of people had alliances. The fact that Cao Cao is still standing honestly upsets me. Not because I don't want him to be alive, more because of the fact that it's just super surprising. Now we do have a specialty. We have a mount which gives a retreat. So the effect essentially is in a duel, you are able to retreat. Pretty sure that's it. 
As far as I know, there's nothing else important he does. So let's uh, auto point to conquer. There we go. The rest are now in position. So Jinyi will now operate at a, uh, you know, at a full level. The only thing is we now lack someone over here. So we're actually going to have to summon someone. We're not using Asano Kingshi. Gonna summon him back? Actually, no, 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 I'm not, because I summoned him over there because he's a good officer. So we're gonna summon the best of the currently unemployed, who is not Asano Kingshi. We'll send you over. What suggestions do we actually have? None that I want to do. I think the most important is public order. Those we need because, you know, public order is super important. Because we just took Shinyi, which means we need to now make them believe in us. Which is easier said than fucking done. But, so Shinyi can have 50,000 troops, whereas our other cities... So our capital can have 70, but the other two can have 50,000 troops at the moment. Because they're two small cities and one medium city. Now, cities go up to huge, I remember, if I remember correctly. They are automatic events once you hit a certain stuff. They're not like events I have to physically trigger. Um... I will be because I like triggering events. It's fun. Like, there are some auto visits like Huotuo, Viz Ruler, and 86 Second Wounded, the Lifespan, like, stuff like that. And then the appointments to new positions. Though I believe you can also actually force position, uh, position events. But yeah, the city expansions, they, they grow on their own. You just need to have a certain, like basically, all of their levels together need to reach a certain amount. Like, I think six were smaller. Either way, that's that's what that's how you do it. Now, I believe we've got to search Jinyi still. Send a couple of people. Take nine Ds. So that's a full uh, turn. That's fine with me. We've still got how long we got on this alliance left? Things zooming out of the way. Yeah, eight months. We've got loads of time left with uh, Sao Sao. Now, I'd be lying if I said Runan was was something we wanted because it's it's not. If we don't have Zhu Chang. Runan is not worth having, and Sao Sao is actually growing, and that's upsetting me. Sao Sao's not being destroyed, which is what I was promised. And it looks like Gong Zan's putting up a bit of a fight. He still has Zhao Yun. Now, if I was him, I'd have gone for Gong Du, because Gong Du is essentially... Oh, sorry, Gong Sun Du is just essentially... Wait, that says Gong Sun Gong. Oh, no, he's the overseer. But, yeah. Yeah, Gong Sun Du has uh, a lot of men. What's Lu Bei doing? Lu Bei tried to attack, just didn't get anywhere. Lu Bei has some good officers, but he just doesn't ever seem to apply himself. While I could, while I think I could very easily take Runan, especially with the two who took Jin Yi, I think I'm a little bit strapped for officers right now. Until I get some more, it's not really worth it. Come on, Takei, Takei to Shinjin, or Shingen. Come join us. Okay, there's all of our orders. Let's keep going. I'm gonna go on. Jia Hu is no longer there. Shingen's no longer there. Oh, sweet. I found this is in Yi. Apparently, it's called Shang Quan Lun. Extends life. So, we're gonna go on one speed for now. Okay, two speed. Because these guys are taking forever. So they're rushing to build something. So there are two returning to Runan. They're using catapults. Catapults are kind of shit. The best siege weapon, in my opinion, is actually towers. Because 9 times out of 10, they'll send all of their forces out and leave about 5,000 men. So you can essentially wipe them out if you do, you know, do it quick enough. Liao Su Shiji has appointed. Oh, Shiji has been appointed regional government by. How many territories does he have now then? Four? No, he has three. Let's look at the events. Attainment. Not great. Uh... 
general. Okay, appointment, appointment, appointment. Okay, so yeah. Apparently, though, they have to be auto. That's... Ah, we don't own a province. Right, 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 right. That's so... Provinces... Weirdly enough, I never... I hate the province system. Because I don't actually know a way to figure out where the provinces are. It confuses the fuck out of me. Like, there is no... Like, at least in the base game, without the DLC, there's no way to look easily for provinces. You have to specifically go in here. So we, if we earn Chang'ang, we now have Jingzhou. Jingzhou. If we had Chang'an and Ding, um, Tan Shi and Wu Wei, we would have conquered everything in the Xibei region. But that's not a region, that's a province. That's not a province, it's a region. It's, it's a weird one, but essentially if we took Chang'an, this is a province, and we would be rewarded for that. In the sense of we would be able to become a regional governor. Let's pull that back out. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I know he's building, but I'm also very concerned that he's building. Uh, Sunsa is currently in a very bad position because his lands are split between two provinces. Sorry, split between the river, which is not actually something you want. Being split between the river can cause a lot of problems. Okay, I don't have to reward, so let's do some suggesting. 24 officers. That's not enough for what we've got. We need more. Now, I could hold up and just accept that uh, we don't, we're not going to get any more officers, but it's not what we need to do. We need to focus on getting some officers, or we need to beat someone up. Now, as much as I'd love to beat up Li Ju, we've got a massive problem. All of our troops from uh, Wan have gone south. Now, we can do this very, very cool thing where you just click on a province, you press transfer. No, not transfer, sorry, you press transport. Uh, let's send 5,000 troops, 12,000 supplies. That'll take 32 days. So when he gets back, he, you know, he will basically, the guy will come home. It's all up. We deliver 5,000 troops up to Wan, and then after that, we're going to use Wan to essentially just shit this gate into into oblivion. Once we have Wu Gate, life becomes a little bit easier because we now control the passage, so we can just go through and come out back whenever we wish. Zong's never going to leave us alone, which is why I put some of my strongest officers in to Xinyi. But honestly, I don't feel like doing anything else this turn. Like I know I could search, I just it's just not worth it. If it's not recommended, you're just searching because you have nothing else to do. Let's put on full speed. Lo uh, it looks like um, Sao Sao is marching forward. So apparently we have 20,000 troops, is that right? No, we have 25,000. It just says we have 20,000 because 5,000 men are in the field. Reward Lu Su. Yeah, Goa sees garbage. Hey, look, it's Taigen Sisai. Uh, Sisai. We should be able to expect good news. Sure, why not? He's a decent officer. I'll attempt it. Okay. It's the end of the month. We've got a bit of gold left over. We'll do investment. Uh, fuck it. How much is all of it? 2100? Sorry, we'll just do everything. At this point, we need the win. We'll just search everywhere we can. Sometimes searching can give us a bit of gold, but... I did appoint a new a new guy into the. Yeah, I did. I gave myself.
Zhang An and Ding Yong An and Jing Zhao have abundant harvest this year. Well, that's not us. We only got 1,600 troops that month. This month. It seems the more troops you have in your in, uh, in you know, more troops you have, the better you'll do. No, what sod you? We're sending them off anyway. Yeah, we don't. No one else is just known. This is really hard. Like, I, and I don't mean that in the sense of like I'm having a lot of fun, but I'm just getting worried. So he's sending 3,000 after the 8,000 troops are out. The problem is, if we take Runan, are we leaving ourselves exposed or not? That's the real question. We'll be leaving ourselves deprived of officers. Because right now, we uh, do not have enough to do what we need to do. We do have supplies. Supplies can buy us alliances and the whatnot. I think I want to take the gate. The sooner I take the gate, the better. It also looks like there's a lot of gold there. Who do I not like? Someone preferably with tower. Fazeng, congratulations. Here's a tower, here's 3,000 men. Go take it. Go, go fire attack it, why not? Now, I know I'm sending the vast majority of the troops there, but we're about to get 5,000 more men. And we'll do one more turn before I end the part. I'm feeling pretty good about this part. We got Jinyi with pretty much no casualties. Ben Ashilavi visited Zujun. Which you can ever consider serving our army. I'm sure Liao Su would be very happy. I've been waiting for this moment. I shall go with you. He seems like a very loud character. Who then visited Borti? Would you please consider using our talents for Liao Su? She still doesn't plan on becoming an officer, which is interesting. Okay, so Yan. Wait, Yan Bai? Who's in this? Is he? Holy shit, yeah, he is. Sorry, that, that name means more to me when I play Free Kingdoms, but. I didn't actually realize who that was. Should be gone. And by Free Kingdoms, I mean Total War Free Kingdoms, not uh, not this one. Yeah, she's... She does not want to be in my force like for some reason. Let's invest in public order and investments. You know what? I think we'll do one more turn. I want to at least begin the attack on the wall. Why do I feel like we're not going to be able to... I don't know. Two people can search their well. Okay. One last turn. Where the fuck are you going? That is his territory by the strictest definition. Like by the definite strictest of definitions that is definitely the board you're blind it's the end of the month investing everything I'm also going to sell some of our food Jujun is injured that's fine or we'll sell we don't want to sell that many we'll just we'll just use the Aosu uh, so Chen Hua wasn't the best really there, but it is what it is. Oh god, I haven't fucking put a recruitment officer here. Jamuka, you're gonna do that and he'll train. I wondered why you were not growing. <sighs> that's that's that set us back a few months now. That is like I know that sounds bad, but that has actually set us back quite a few months. 
We'll do one more turn because I actually didn't begin, didn't actually bother watching Wukate at all. Okay, Wukate's falling really fucking quickly. We lost a thousand there. Worth it. Now, that office is going to stay there. For one reason. See how that gold there? Oh, you are taking the piss. The gold can't be transported. That's stupid. Game, if you stop, you please stop telling me about Borty when she won't let me sort of, uh, hire her. Right, we'll do one last turn where we're going to focus heavily on barracks. And by that I mean I'm going to do the turn and then we'll end the turn in the next part. Our cities are growing. Our cities are growing. That is a, that is a fact. You are shit at doing that. Zujun, you're better. You can do it for now. Don't do anything here. Oh. Wait, Wugate can be looked at. Wait, what? Sure. Wugate. Since when could you do that? Wait, what? Oh. So the gold was actually what he had in Chang'an. Well, that's my bad. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually going to have to end this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord. All the links are down below. Please do give the video a like if you found it entertaining. And it's, uh, you know, it just helps a lot. Brings a, you know, the, it to a little, brings, a, brings a video to a wider audience. But we did succeed in our plan. And we are now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We are 12th in line of territory. It's not that it's, it's not big enough to be on the list, but we're actually at the bottom of our little name tags. That's that's a win. That's a win in my books. But in the next part, we will hopefully try to grow. I don't know if we're going to, but we're going to try. Probably against Zong and maybe against Luju. Conquering up here is actually a very good idea. <clears throat> the problem is we'd have to fight Matang and Liju. Both not very easy tasks at the moment, but they do both have officers that we could poach. So anyway, see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.